So that the significance of this 00 designation on this Daniel's anniversary is that it was the first of the platinum pieces to be made. We only made four of those watches, uh, four platinums, and that was the first one. So the anniversary came about after many years of working with George. And he had ideas to create a watch which would celebrate 35 years since his conception of the coaxial escapement. So the design process for the Daniels anniversary was um, an interesting one, actually. I mean, it, uh, George gave a fairly loose brief as to what he wanted the watch to comprise of. And um, I was adamant that I wanted to, if I was going to be involved, I wanted to make a completely in-house movement. Well, initially, um, I came up with the design work for the case dial and hands. And then as a matter of presenting that to George, get his approval, make sure he's happy with that. And then from that point, um, I was left to then design the mechanisms, to basically design the mechanism to provide that information on the dial. So it's, it's quite a challenge for me to get out of the R.W. Smith mindset and then to get back into the Daniels mindset because George definitely had a very different stylistic approach and that's borne out really with the case design which had um, sort of a two-step uh, bezel and the idea of that, George always said if you have a, a sort of a a double step on the bezel, then that makes the watch look slimmer, it takes the eye around the case, it isn't as obtrusive. So that was one of his features. Also the dial layout again was typically George Daniels. He really perfected the balance of a dial and um, you know he learned from the past and he definitely improved upon the past and all of his dials are very well proportioned you know, in terms of the size of the numerals, the chapters, the engine turning, the size of the subdials, and so on. They're real master classes in proportion. And then the hands as well, his trademark hands with the uh, arrow on the hour hand, very slim minute hand. And I remember him talking about the design of his hands and what he was trying to capture was that the moment you look at the watch, you instantly see the time and that's why you had this point on the hour hand. And then add a beautiful curved shape to the um, end of the second hand. Again, that was a typical feature of a George Daniels hand. And again, the mechanism, you know, very stripped back, very basic looking, but stunningly simple, elegant George Daniels workmanship. So the coaxial escapement, um, and George conceived the idea in. Uh, 1975 and he started fitting it into his uh, wrist watches and pocket watches and so on. Uh, but throughout George's usage of the escapement it was always con um, consisted of two wheels but the challenge that we experienced was that it's very difficult to um, guarantee the correct angular orientation of the two wheels um, and also the, the concentricity of the two wheels to each other and um, I think in the middle of the night where I came up with this idea of creating a single wheel coaxial escape which had basically had pillar teeth mounted onto the lower wheel and that proved to be uh, quite a leap forward and we were able to achieve a higher rate of accuracy um, tolerance uh, far quicker far sooner than the old process so uh, I was sort of working on this process when we began talks with George on the anniversary project. And so I was very keen to incorporate this idea into these watches, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it was the latest technology. So anyway, one day came when I had to chat to ask George on this and um, try and get his approval for it. So anyway, he was due to come round to the workshop, he often did, and just to see what we were up to. So he came and I talked about the progress with the watch, where we were up to in terms of design, and then the next stage was to challenge him on the coaxial escapement. So I described the issues that we'd been having with it, described the new process that I developed of manufacturing of the escape wheels. 
And to be honest, I mean, it really sort of blew me away. He just said, yes, great, do it. You know, his fo focus was always precision timekeeping. He wanted the very, very best, and he could see that this was an improvement on the way that he built his coaxial escape wheels. So for me, it's a terrifying moment that sort of turned out to be quite an incredible, pivotal moment in my career, but also a relationship with George. I, th I think for me, the Daniel's anniversary watch is so meaningful because it's, it's played such a massive part in my life. You know, it was the sort of culmination of many, many years of trying to follow George, trying to, um, yeah, follow in his incredible footsteps into watchmaking. of something. I don't tell him how to do it, I only tell him what I want. <laughs>